Hey y'all, this is Storm from TaylorMade Potpourri and today I'm going to show you how to put watermarks on your screenshots and some text effects to editing. You may ask why you put watermarks on your screenshot is some of my screenshots I use on here I sell them as posters and stuff on another site that I'll be making a video about here shortly. But this is just a little quick example of making a watermark. Alright, I found a faster way to import your images and make them into screenshots. You go to any program, you open it up, and all you do is start the program without adding any clips except for the theme clips. And then the arrow sitting on the first one, you just add your overlay to it. Once you do that, you hit the circle button, come back out until you see L2 at the bottom of the screen. And L2 brings it to full screen. And it allows you, after R2 and the circle button disappear from the bottom, it allows you to take a screenshot by hitting share and triangle. And you can save it now as a screenshot to be used or shared any way you want. Now I did not move my cursor, I left it right there and I added this other screenshot in. I just kept adding overlays and rinse and repeat on the L2 to full screen, hit the share button and hit triangle to save it as a screenshot. As you can see on the left hand corner there I used three on this one right here and instead of getting and deleting them and keep deleting them what I did was I just went ahead and closed the share factory program and I exited without saving another problem we run into is that some of our photos that were captured on other devices they are taller than they are wider and when you try to convert them over they look stretched as you can see here, here's two examples of the images. One is the 1280 by 720 and it's stretched out across there. And the center one is the one that I made up. I resized it. Left the height at 720 and the width at 500. But then now you see you cannot enlarge it any further and you got that border on the left and right side once you center it. I come up with a way to fix this. Yeah, I just don't like the way that stretched out look does. So what I did was I added in a screen and went ahead and as you can see there that just doesn't look right to me. So what I come up with was I took and added a screenshot of a solid color, put that in there, and hit square, the little wrench there, went to settings, and changed the color of it to match the background. And then I went ahead and added my sticker or image overlay to that. And I just think it makes it look better. Uh, in its original format or close to it than it did stretched out. Got it on there, centered it, and I think that looks a little bit better. Okay, I'm going to show you how to, after you import your images and change them to screenshots and you do all that, and you go in you choose the screenshots you want to use in your program. Well, let me show you how to put a watermark on here. And I did make up three different types of watermark using a photo editing program. And I had those available to use as stickers. And that's what these ones are. I chose the overlay right there as an example of one. 
And you may ask why I go through all this here. It's so that other people can't pause and take your screenshot and use it for themselves. Especially like me, my photos, I have uh, shops on Cafe Press, which I'll be showing you some screenshots from that, that I sell these with words, sayings, or whatever, to people buys them. And I don't need nobody else stealing them, using them for their purpose in their videos, or taking claim or whatever else for them, so I put a watermark on it. Several ways you can put watermarks is you can pre-make your own and import it as a sticker, like I did here. And you just change your opacity, and they can still see the picture, but you got your watermark across it. And if they want to take it, they're going to have to see your watermark. Another way you can do this here is you can go in, and over your screenshot, use the text overlay feature and go down to the text. It's in your Share Factory program and choose a font. Import it. Well, not really import it, but edit it. And type it in. And you get the same effect. Or close to it. I did that one there. Transform it. And you change the opacity of it so that you can still see your picture with that watermark across it. Another feature you can do when you're making your watermark or you're adding any text to a screenshot or a video, whichever, this one here is where I'm still working on my watermarks. I selected my font, what I wanted. Now I went under text effect. And as you can see, there are many different things that you can do to your text. Give it all kind of looks, depending on your video and your background, of course. And I, just the one I chose transformed it, enlarged it, and then after I got it where it wanted, why well, I just changed the opacity on it, and it's a watermark, or you can just use this as on your regular videos and screenshots. Hope you enjoyed the video, and stop back by the channel again. Please like and subscribe, and as always, hope you all have a great day.